All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to go over my top five favorite boxing combinations. So we're going to start simple, then we'll get into the more uh, advanced ones, I guess. A lot of this stuff isn't really advanced. A lot of this stuff I keep simple, but some of them I do have one four piece combo in here that I like and most of them are going to be three hit combos. So the first one we're going to keep fairly simple, which is jab, straight, lead hook. And this one you can throw fast or you can throw slow. You can go jab, straight, lead hook, or you can go jab, straight, lead hook. You can also switch out the lead hook or the uppercut. So it's kind of like a bonus one. But be careful because the uppercut is considered obviously a straight strike and it can be swayed. Or it can be pulled. Like the hook, it can't be swayed, it can only be pulled or ducked. You know, the uppercut can be either swayed or it can be pulled. So just be careful. If you're throwing, you know, jab straights, a lot of jab straights, your opponent might sway. So be care so if you're ending with the uppercut a lot, maybe end with the hook. So they might sway into it. So the next combo I like to throw is the Rear body uppercut into the lead body hook. Just like that. And just to mention, I'm not going to put the uh, the button inputs on here. If you guys want the button inputs, just go to view moves and they're all in here. I just feel the game's been out for a while now. You guys should at least know how to throw the punches. I understand some of the kicks sometimes you might not know how to throw, but all the punches you should be able to... You should be able, you should know. You should know how to throw a lead hook or a rear hook or an uppercut or anything like that. It just should be common knowledge by now. So but anyway, the that's the second combo is the rear body hook into the into the lead but I mean it's the rear body uppercut into the lead body hook. And this will do a lot of damage. I like to throw this when my opponent's hurt because usually I I rock them to the head, so it makes them cover up their head. It opens up their body. And then you can usually get a good uh, a good long-term stamina attacks because usually when they're rocked, their the short term's low. So if you go to the body, it's going to do a little bit of... It's going to tax that stamina a bit. So the next combo that I like to throw is lead hook, straight lead hook. So, so it goes, you know... Lead hook, straight lead, straight lead hook, lead hook. So it's lead hook, straight lead hook is what I meant. You can also reverse this, lead hook, I mean a straight lead hook straight. But I like the, I, I just like to lead with the, uh, the lead hook because a lot of guys expect you to lead with either a jab or a straight and they're usually swaying. So lead hook, straight lead hook, good one. By the end of this, it's going to be, end up to be more than five combos because I'm going to show you guys like alternate versions like I just did there. Like I said, you can throw straight lead hook straight or uh, lead hook, straight lead hook. Like I said, I like the lead hook one, you know, like the lead with the lead hook. But that's just me. You can, you can invert it and go straight lead hook straight. It's all, it's all personal preference really. So the next combo we are going to go over is the is the four piece combo. So it's going to be lead hook, rear uppercut, lead hook, straight. So it's going to look like that, you know, fast. I'm doing it slow at first just so you guys can get the hang of it. And you guys might think, oh, you're in, you're in too close for the straight. Well, most of the time when you throw these three punches here. Lead hook. Um, most of the time after this lead hook, the opponent's going to start to back up. So you're going to be able to hit them with that straight. Or maybe they're going to pull. So that's why I put the straight at the end there. So it's, again, it's uh, lead hook, uppercut, lead hook, straight. So just go in there, practice that. And I'm, I'm telling you, that combo will... We'll do quite a bit of damage and it seems like i'm doing some head hunting here like i'm saying like 
these aren't all the combos I use. Because once in a while, I'll just, I'll just throw a lead hook out there. To the body. Like, it might seem like these combos are just headhunting combos. They're, you know, they're not all that I throw in a fight. I'm just, these, I'm just picking out my favorites. The most reliable ones. Because sometimes I'll go hook hook. But I don't consider that to be one of my favorites. It's more of if I have, like, a read on my opponent. If he's... If he's swaying a lot, or maybe he's lunging a lot, you know, I'll go hook hook and try to catch him. But I don't consider that to be in my top five at least. So, let's just, so just keep that in mind while I'm going over these guys. So, the last one is straight lead hook uppercut. So, it's straight lead hook uppercut. Or you can do straight uppercut hook. Well, I just like this straight lead hook uppercut. Because a lot of times I'll set my opponent up with just doing this. You know, setting them up, setting them up. And then they think, you know, my combo's done. They'll try to exchange and boom, I'll hit them with the uppercut. So, that's the thing. You, you got to know when to keep your combo short. And you have to know when to extend your combos as well. So, but you can you can always change this up with the jab. You can do jab, uppercut, lead hook. So obviously I went over more than five in here, but those are the top five. Let's just recap real quick. So the first one I went over it was a jab straight lead hook. Next one I did was a rear uppercut lead body hook. It does a lot of damage. Trust me. Add that to your arsenal. Just be careful because obviously with any body any body punch you can just get uppercutted it's one thing i kind of hate about the game i feel like you should have to get the block counter to get the uppercut counter a lot of people don't know this but back in when ufc 3 first come out the body hooks actually evaded well the lead body hook actually evaded the uppercut like see how calvin kind of leans to the side there in USC 3, it was a little bit more kind of in the strike actually had built in evasion, but people complained and it was patched within like the first month. Uh, so, anyway, back to what I was saying the next uh, next combo I went over was lead hook, straight lead hook. Again, you can convert that, you can lead with the straight lead hook, straight or straight uppercut, straight. Well, I just like to lead with the lead hook. Just because it throws people off and it does a little bit more damage than like you know a straight so straight so straight i mean lead hook straight lead hook then the next combo was lead hook uppercut lead hook straight so again this is a four piece just know when to throw it again you can just sometimes i'll just set my opponent up with that with uh, this two piece here lead hook and then into the uppercut so that's another tip here. Now that I'm into this and I'm kind of talking about it, any combo I am doing here, you can pretty much take either the last two strikes or the first two strikes and just use them as a combo. Like for instance, jab straight, lead hook, you can just use the jab straight. Or if you want to use the last two punches in the combo, just do straight lead hook. And again, you can do for this combo I just said, lead hook, the uppercut you can just do that or you could do lead hook lead hook straight but then if you put it all together you know what i mean so there you get you know there you go and then the last one which is probably the most known combo which a lot of people use uh romero 17 you should call it the uh the wombo combo i believe because it's pretty much a Guaranteed rock if you can land all three strikes, which is, you know, the straight lead hook, uppercut. Does a lot of damage with just those three strikes. And if you can land all three, it's pretty much a guaranteed rock on your opponent. So, very good mix-up. But, like I said, you know, these aren't the be-all, end-all. These are just what I feel are my top five. But I do use other combos, like uh, straight body hook... Sometimes I'll even do elbow, lead hook, or um, rear elbow, uppercut, 
it all depends. Sometimes I'll just, like I said, throw a lead hook out there. Sometimes I'll do straight. Then I'll go with the body hook and just pray that my opponent doesn't throw an uppercut. But just, like I said, it's mostly knowing when to keep your combo short and when to know when to ex expand your combos. Oh, right. I'm going to do a... I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a bonus one because I feel like this one a lot of people don't really think of. It's just a simple jab, rear hook, jab. When this when your opponent has low head health, just jab, rear hook. Trust me, a lot of high level players will use this. It's probably one of the best short combos in the game. So, jab, rear hook. All right, guys, those are my top. What it, it ended up being probably like seven or eight combos, but the title of the video is going to be my top five combos. I hope uh, I didn't go too off topic here. I hope uh, you guys uh, got some good information out of this, and I hope this uh, just expands your combos a little bit. So that's it for me, guys. Uh, like, subscribe, do all that. But if you don't do any of that, you guys know it. Have a good day, and I'll see you in the next one.